Okay, uh, here's another video from the Virtual Classroom Workshop. I've been uh, making a lot of uh, websites lately and I've discovered a few things that I wanted to share. Uh, purpose of this video today is to show you how to make an interactive button through Google Sites. And uh, here's a little preview. You see this Buy Now button. Notice that it changes to orange when I scroll over with my mouse. Very, very easy thing to do. And so uh, that's what I'm going to work through today. There's a gadgets page I just added to my virtual classroom workshop. Wish there was more gadgets in uh, Google Sites, but there's a few things that you can see on here that uh, that are pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and go through this. Um, here's a website that I made. Um, it's just an example of a commerce website, and uh, I copied something that I found on uh, Shopify. So this isn't my design. It's just my my imitation of it. This is just an experimental page. So um, if you look up here, this is meant to be a, a commerce site, and you can see that, that you've got these pictures, Shop Breitling, Shop Tag Hauer. Notice when I scroll over them that they change to a sepia tone, and I've used this gadget for buttons. I also have a little more traditional button, View Cart. If you click that, you notice it does this. So very, very easy to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how this works. So the first step in making a uh, gadget like this, well hang on, let me get into edit. Okay, so you'll notice here, and I'm going to kill one of these, that these are gadgets. So I'm going to kill one so we can um, make one of these. And you see that there are gadget down here, and this is the mouse over image button. Very easy to use, but it does require a couple steps, so I'm going to call this advanced. Um, go ahead and click there. I'm going to get my cursor right here. Now, when you do one of these, you go in and you go to the place you want it. You go to Insert, go to More Gadgets, and then Public. Now, there's two different ways to find this. You can do Mouse Over Image button, just like it's listed, but it comes up third. Another way that I do this is uh, the person that ma made it their name is Jetup something so I just use that so you you want to click the one with the light bulb you click it here Jdip Verma so shout out to Jdip nice job on this this is such a neat thing I'm, I'm excited to show this so you select it and you'll notice that it's got an image button up image button down button text button link browse window in all the other normal settings for uh, a gadget. So it works pretty much just like most other Google gadgets. Um, <coughs> one of the things that you will have to do though is you're going to have to have images that are exactly the same size. That's important. And then you also want to make sure that you can get your image by link. So since I've used this a few times now, I'm, I'm just starting to build an image page on all of my websites. So if you click on here, this is my image page for this particular website. I'm hiding it. It's not in the navigation. This is something that, that is only meant to be seen for, by me, basically. It's not meant to be seen by the viewers of the, of the website. And what I've done is I've put my images here. So you'll notice here that I've got a top image that's the normal color. The bottom image is a sepia tone. I just did this as a simple uh, thing. I, I made sure that the images were exactly the same size because that's the way it looked on the original website. And then um, what I did with the image is I just loaded it into uh, paint.net and I clicked adjust image sepia tone. You can do whatever you want. You'll notice when you go down here to the view cart. So this is an image. I made it in paint.net even though there's type here it is an image and you just notice that they're just two different colors if you're doing a shadow that's a little bit more complicated maybe I'll do a different video just on that because uh, you basically have to make sure that the the version with the shadow is the same size as your original which means you shrink the original for the second version again what's important is that your images are the same size so you make an image page because when you whenever you put an image into a Google site it automatically gives it a link. You can also, if you didn't know this already, you can always assign new links to your images. So you've always had the capability to make buttons out of images in Google Sites, but what is neat about this is now you can make these buttons do something when someone hovers over them. So you go into where you want it. We need the button up and the button down. So now I'm going to move back to my image page. I'm going to right click the first image, 
and I'm going to copy the image address. So now I go to here. Now I go to the button down. I'm going to right click again, copy image address. Keep in mind that if I hadn't set up this page beforehand, it would take me a little bit longer to do this. Now, button text, um, that doesn't mean that you're going to have a text that appears on the button initially. I'll show you what this does. Um, I'm going to do this all caps. Click here. And then we're going to keep it in the same tab. You have another option. You can open it in a new tab. Um, link that it's going to go to. I'm just going to go ahead and link it back to my image page. I wouldn't normally do this. It, normally I would bring them to whatever the shop IWC page would be, but I don't even have that built since this is just a test website. So I'm going to uh, push button link there, click in here. Now for width, you can do this whatever you want. This, just like any other gadget in Google, has the capability of going 100% of your window. So if I was just using a simple one column layout this could go all the way across my my entire uh, website if I wanted I think these images were a little less than I think they were about 314 pixels high so I'm gonna make this 400 one of the things that I do like about this is there's very little padding around your picture so potentially you could make a navigation bar on one side or the other of your website using these images and, and it's interactive so when they hover over your buttons they, they change so you want to unclick the include and display go ahead and preview gadget because that'll let you know if your gadgets working or not if something goes wrong biggest thing to check is image size I've noticed the images have to be identical in size to each other and they, they basically have to look almost the same. I mean you can change colors and all that but, but the size needs to be identical. You can see that this is working so we're going to click OK. Now we click Save. Go to the site. Is it working? Yep. Perfect. Go back up here. View cart. Isn't that nice? One of the things that, you know, I'm kind of used to apologizing for Google Sites saying hey they don't have some of the bells and whistles that other sites do but when I discovered this, this was a, a really great uh, addition to, to Google Sites because now you can make these interactive things and that, that is a bell and whistle. So uh, I hope that you found this um, tutorial useful. I will have a, a written up section of this on the Virtual Classroom website. So I'll put something in the Virtual Classroom tips. I haven't done that yet, but I will. And uh, that'll be written there, and I will include the link to that inside this YouTube video. So uh, good luck on making your buttons, and uh, have fun with this.